This is EWTN's coverage of the uh, Mass from Fatima uh, this morning, uh, October 13th, in honor of the last apparition of the Blessed Virgin Mary at Fatima in October, the October 13th, 1917. This is Colin Donovan, and I'm here with Christina Borges as your commentators. Greetings to all. We're coming to the end of the procession of the uh, statue of Our Lady of Fatima from the Capolinia, the little chapel of the apparitions, uh, through the congregation and up to the altar where she will give it, be given a place of honor uh, off to the side of the main altar. And at the end of this Mass there is to be a consecration uh, uh, to Our Lady, which uh, Cardinal Tarcisio Bertoni, the celebrant and Secretary of State of the Holy Roman Church, uh, will will make on behalf of, of the people of Portugal and on behalf of the church. A procissão litúrgica aproxima-se do altar, onde vamos celebrar a Eucaristia do 28º domingo do tempo comum. The commentator simply says that the statue and procession is approaching the altar, where Holy Mass will be celebrated on the 28th Sunday of ordinary time. As we noted yesterday in our coverage, this is not the uh, principal statue of Our Lady of Fatima, but uh, was brought out from the Basilica to the Capolinia to replace the one sent to Rome uh, for the Mass of the Holy Father uh, earlier this morning, uh, in which the, he consecrated the world to the Immaculate Heart. And also for the vigil, uh, rosary vigil uh, from the shrines that uh, we carried here on EWTN last evening. Cardinal Bertoni passing out of you to our left, uh, the main celebrant for our liturgy this morning. The Immaculate Heart of Mary, the icon of the love and suffering of God for the world. This meeting with God that happens in the holy sacrifice of the Mass. This participation that we have of communion, but also individually, we each come to the cross with all our sins. Passamos ao Imaculado Coração de Maria, que nos ajude in this mystery of redemption. Este santo Let us sacrifício. ask the Immaculate Heart of Mary Juntamente that we may live this holy filho, sacrifice together with her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Nos entregar 
that in this Holy Eucharist that we may be able to give of ourselves with full trust giving ourselves entirely in trust without hesitation. Earlier today, of course, the Holy Father offered Mass uh, before the statue of Our Lady of Fatima, as you mentioned, the one that usually is at the Capelinha here in Portugal. And, um, and uh, the course of that ceremony uh, consecrated the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which of course, as Colin said, will be done here as well by Cardinal Bertoni in union with the Holy Father. Cardinal Bertoni will um, incense the altar, the crucifix, and the statue of Our Lady. The altar, of course, because it is the place of sacrifice, and therefore a symbol of Christ himself, the crucifix, because it is the image of Christ and Our Lady because of her cooperative role in the redemption. This Sunday we have pilgrims from all over Portugal, but also from other countries. There are 134 groups, organized groups, coming from 28 countries that have uh, registered with the office. We have groups from Angola, Australia, Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Ivory Coast, Croatia, seven from Spain, ten from the United States, one from the Philippines, thirteen from France, one from Gibraltar, one from Holland, two from Reunion Islands, six from Ireland, twenty-two from Ireland, one from Lithuania, one from Mexico, one from Nigeria, eight from Poland, five from the United Kingdom, one from Senegal, two from Sri Lanka, six from Switzerland, one from Zambia, and 21 groups from Portugal. Presiding over this uh, celebration is Cardinal Tarcisio Bertroni, Secretary of State of His Holy Father, St. Francis, with him is the Bishop of Lady of Fatima, Antonio Marto, and all other bishops from Portugal and other countries. <laughs> Muy estimados peregrinos de habla hispana, el Señor esté con vosotros. Dear pilgrims of the Spanish language, the Lord be with you. 
Pilgrims, Italian pilgrims, the Lord be with you. German pilgrims. French pilgrims. Panswami. Peace with you. Dear English speaking pilgrims, the Lord be with you. Kære danske tællende pilgrimer, Herren være med jer. Kedves magyar testvéreim, az Úr legyen veletek. Of course, we assume uh, each uh, priest is saying the Lord be with you in his language, directed to the people of, of his particular country. A élég rég érnek a jél, korábban tírna liv. Anh chị em Việt Nam thân mến, Chúa cùng anh chị em. Sáng ngày bước xin hân nhiệm Abu Jua, ân chúng lễ xin Úi Chúa Giêsu Kitô와 일주일신성령께서여러분과함께 Saludos todos peregrinos de lengua portuguesa. Greetings to all pilgrims of the Portuguese language. The Lord be with you. Brethren, to celebrate with dignity the holy mysteries, let us recognize that we are sinners. Let us confess our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Now we have the Kyrie, uh, which is Greek for Lord have mercy, and with two variations, followed by Christ have mercy and then Lord have mercy again. Glory to God in the highest, in the words of the angels announcing the birth of Christ to the shepherds.
Cardinal Bertoni will say the opening prayer or call out. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The commentator invites people to prepare themselves to listen to their readings and accept them within uh, deeply in our hearts and live our life accordingly. Reading from the second book of Kings. In those days, the Syrian, Syrian general Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan seven times at the, word, at the word of Elisha, the man of God. His flesh became again like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean of his leprosy. Naaman returned with his whole retinue to the man of God. On his arrival, he stood before Elisha and said, now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. Please accept a gift from your servant. Elisha replied, As the Lord lives whom I serve, I will not take it. And despite Naaman's urging, he still refused. Naaman said, If you will not accept, please let me, your servant, have two mule loads of earth for I will no longer offer holocaust or sacrifice to any other god except to the Lord. Deus de Israel. Palavra do Senhor. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. has revealed to the nations his saving power. Oh, Jesus, 
All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. A segunda leitura da carta aos Hebreus vai ser proclamada em língua francesa. The second reading, the letter to the Hebrews, will be read in French. We are invited to open our hearts to the Lord and maintain firmly our trust in Him through the end. Led, reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Holy Spirit says, Oh, that today you would hear His voice. Harden not your hearts as at the rebellion in the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me and saw my works for 40 years. Because of this, I was provoked with that generation, and I said, They have always been of erring heart, and they do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart, so as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves daily while it is still today, so that none of you may grow hardened by the deceit of sin. We have become partners of Christ if only we hold to the beginning of the reality firm until the end. Au point d'abandonner le Dieu vivant. Au contraire, aussi longtemps que dure l'aujourd'hui de ce psaume, encouragez-vous les uns les autres jour après jour pour que personne parmi vous ne s'endurcisse en se laissant tromper par le péché. Car nous sommes devenus les compagnons du Christ, mais à condition de maintenir fermement jusqu'à la fin notre engagement premier. Parole du Seigneur. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O vai ser proclamado em língua portuguesa, italiana, inglesa, alemã e polaca. De pé, the gospel will be proclaimed in Portuguese, Italian, English, German, and Polish. The deacon carries the gospel book, or I think it's actually a priest, carries the gospel book to the uh, ambo from which it will be read with honor and celebration and will incense it to honor it also uh, before reading from the gospel of St. Luke. The Lord 
be with you and with your spirit. Lexio Sancti Evangelii. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Naquele tempo. Indo Jesus a caminho de Jerusalém, passava entre a Samaria e a Galileia. Ao entrar numa povoação, vieram ao seu encontro dez leprosos. Conservando-se à distância, disseram em alta voz, Jesus, Mestre, tem compaixão de nós. Ao vê-los, Jesus disse-lhes, E de mostrar-vos aos sacerdotes. E sucedeu que no caminho ficaram limpos da lepra. Um deles, ao ver-se curado, voltou atrás, glorificando a Deus em alta voz, e prostrou-se de rosto por terra aos pés de Jesus para lhe agradecer. Era um samaritano. Jesus, tomando a palavra, disse, Não foram dez os que ficaram curados? Onde estão os outros nove? Não se encontrou quem voltasse para dar glória a Deus, senão este estrangeiro? E disse ao homem, Levanta-te e segue o teu caminho. A tua fé te salvou. Durante o viaggio verso Gerusalemme, Gesù attraversò la Samaria e la Galilea. Entrando in un villaggio, gli vennero incontro dieci lebrosi, i quali, fermatisi a distanza, alzarono la voce dicendo, Gesù Maestro, abbi pietà di noi. Uno di loro, vedendosi guarito, tornò indietro, lodando Dio a gran voce. Ma Gesù osservò, Non sono stati guariti tutti e dieci. Alzati e va, la tua fede ti ha salvato. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Then he said to him, Stand up and go, your faith has saved you. Auf dem Weg nach Jerusalem zog Jesus durch das Grenzgebiet von Samarien und Galiläa. Als er in ein Dorf hineingehen wollte, kamen ihm zehn Aussätzige entgegen. Sie blieben in der Ferne stehen und riefen, Jesus, Meister, 
hab Erbarmen mit uns. Einer von ihnen aber kehrte um, als er sah, dass er geheilt war. Und er lobte Gott mit lauter Stimme. Da sagte Jesus, es sind doch alle zehn rein geworden. Und er sagte zu ihm, steh auf und geh, dein Glaube hat dir geholfen. Zmierzając do Jerozolimy, Jezus przechodził przez pogranicze Samarii i Galilei. Gdy wchodzili do pewnej wsi, wyszło naprzeciw Niego dziesięciu trędowatych. Zatrzymali się z daleka i głośno zawołali Jezusie, Mistrzu, ulituj się nad nami. Wtedy Jeden z nich, widząc, że jest uzdrowiony, wrócił, chwaląc Boga donośnym głosem. Jezus zaś rzekł, czy nie dziesięciu zostało oczyszczonych? Do niego zaś rzekł, wstań, idź, twoja wiara cię uzdrowiła. Verbum Domini. Seguimos a procissão do Evangeliário que é conduzido ao Presidente da Celebração que o beijo em seu e nosso nome com ele nos abençoa. To the celebrant who will kiss it and will bless us with the book of the gospel. Can we sit now to listen to the homily of the celebrant of our uh, Holy Mass? Señor Bispo de Leiria Fatima. Dear Bishop of Lady of Fatima, Cardinal, eminent Cardinal, Patriarch uh, Emeritus of Lisboa, of Lisbon, my brother bishops of all the world, dear priests and dear pilgrims of Fatima, beloved brothers and sisters, your Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio, let us maintain, firmly maintain our trust. That was the request made in that passage of the letter of the, to the Hebrews that was proclaimed in the second reading. All of us have become participants in Christ as long as we firmly maintain through the end our first trust in God. A little before that, he alerted us, beware, brothers, that none of you have a doubting heart that will keep take you away from the living God, distance you from the living God. We are finishing the year of faith. And as you see, it is about faith that our reading is in this Holy Mass. Stand, he said to the leper who was healed, go forth. It was your faith that 
healed you, that saved you. Faith in Jesus Christ reconstructs the human being, renews his entire being, fills him with peace and hope, fills his life with peace and hope. As with this, the leper in the gospel not only returned healed of a physical ailment, but above all with a capacity to have God within his life and therefore thankful for his gifts. And the thanksgiving of this man was transformed into adoration, which shows his greatness, humility, and his trust that he placed in his gesture. He opened his heart to God and God's action. Truly, that healing was not asked for, nor was not promised. It was, it took place because of his trust, the leper's trust in Jesus. Today in our life, which is threatened by weaknesses, several risks, in that experience that we cannot dominate, that we cannot control the future, facing injustice and knowing that death has the last word in human existence. Victory is really only possible over death and us facing with courage our life, if we let God within our life and let us shine forth that faith. These are signs that give witness to how much worth it is to trust in God, the God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. To turn our heart, to give our heart to him who sustains our being, for him to live and die. And above all these faithful, the one who stands out is the Blessed Virgin Mary. All the church is in communion with that Marian Day today, which takes place at St. Peter's Square in Pope Francis, during which the faithful Christian are called to renew pe personally their own consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the consecrated to the Mother of God, and live this very noble act of cult with a life that is ever more, conforms ever more to that um, consecration and to that faith and imitating their queenly, their heavenly queen. Your faith and fidelity, her faith and fidelity is the school in which each one of us learns how to be a better Christian and a better church. At the center of the message of Fatima, we have conversion, which implies the love of God above all, horror of sin, and horror of sin more than love of life and faithfulness to the law of God, which uh, translates itself into charity. Certainly was not that the recommendation, the last recommendation that the mother of God made here. Do not offend God any longer because he is already too much offended be careful, my, my brothers and sisters, that none of you that have a heart that does not trust, does not, uh, is not faithful, that will take you away from God. The Savior of the world, even of the temporal world, is only one, Jesus Christ. Against the fatalism of the world, Mary came here to remind us that in the ordering and governing of all that happens, 
there is a infinite heart and as long as since God since the time when God had a human heart started having a human heart he liberated the world for God for a good he liberated the human soul so that God may have the last word in the world you will suffer but trust be confident I have conquered the world said the Lord but Our Lady did say that there would be sad days for humanity here she manifests herself as beautiful as an army in battle array, asking us that we enlist ourselves in this army to take up arms and go into combat. We must admire her, invoke her, and imitate her. Our Lady would like us and asked us to consecrate the hearts of each individual, of each country, of which the whole world be consecrated to her, united to her Immaculate Heart in faithful service to God. Do we really respond to this appeal of Fatima? Are we really uh, disposed, really willing to continue obeying? All our being is with Mary in the sureness that love everything bears, everything can do. The love every love conquers everything, forgives everything, can everything. Do not be afraid is this theme of the um, of our shrine for this year here in Fatima in preparation for the centenary of the apparitions of Our Lady in 2017. And we emphasize the purity of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. My Immaculate Heart shall conquer. These are consoling words given to the little shepherd children of Fatima. And she said to Lucia, do not be despondent. I will never leave you. My Immaculate Heart will be your refuge and the way that will bring you to God. Dear pilgrims, I repeat today to all of you, let us not become despondent. Let us be firm until the end. Let us have that first initial trust until the end. Why, why do we fear? Our hearts quite often feel disturbed with all the evil that is in the world right now. And with our own weaknesses, our, our heart is disturbed with certain actions that the, our heart itself is capable. We have fear of what's in the world, but we have fear of ourselves because we do not know what to do with the life and the gifts that God has given us. We are fearful because we do not trust in God. Just as redemption was given us, uh, has given us hope with which we can, thanks to which we can face with hope, the present and the future. We can thus be secure about our goal. And the goal is so great that it justifies all the, the weakness and fatigue that we find along the way. The story of the little shepherd, that episode in which the shepherds were imprisoned by the governor of Odem, 
Three, the three children, when they thought they had been separated one from each other and that they were going to be thrown into boiling oil, what was, the re what was their reaction? Remember what they said. They remembered to pray. And later when they were... They were asked to Francisco, they asked Francisco, what were you doing? With, he said, with the grace of a children, but with the daring of a man of faith, I am praying a Hail Mary so that Jacinta may not fear. He was praying for his little sister. Blessed Francisco knew that to God everything is possible. Knowing we should not expect to God conform himself to our measures, to what we think is possible. We must rather trust in the infinite love of God in those ways which he alone knows. He touches the hearts of people and is present in the happenings of history he is capable. He is able to write straight through crooked lines, which we hum human beings uh, trace crookedly. That is why when someone, no longer people listen to me, God hears me. When nobody, when I can no longer speak to anyone, to God, I can always speak. If there's nobody who can help me anymore because of a need I might have or maybe an expectation that I have that goes above my, our capability, God can help. If I am in extreme loneliness, in fact, I am never totally alone with God. Virgin Mother, you are blessed because you believed that everything that was said of you would be, would come to be. I entrust to you what today seems to be the thing most important in the service of the Church. It's strong testimony of faith before the modern generation of men and women tempted by the ever-growing secularism and indifferentism, indifference to religion, that this testimony may always speak the clear language of the gospel and thus reach hearts, particularly of the young people, the young generation, that these words may attract the youth and fill them with enthusiasm for a life modeled after the new man, which, who is your son, Jesus Christ, that they may work in the vineyard of the Lord. Amen. And now follows the creed in Latin. In which we express all the tenets of our faith.
Brothers and sisters, let us raise to the Heavenly Father our supplications and that of the humanity, asking with much trust We pray, hear us. For Pope Francis, for the bishops, priests, and deacons, that following the way of faith and trust and joy, that they may work in trust and joy. So that testimony of those who work in the world will be transparent for the faith and truth. Korean. Korean. For the National Guard that today celebrates 101 years to service and public order, so that each of its members will be permanently an example of dignity, social conduct, human relations, and solidarity. Let us pray to the Lord. Oremos. For those who are hungry for bread and hope, for those who give of their goods for the poorest, and for those who extend their hand to those who have fallen, let us pray. Lord and Holy Father, who loves your children, and do not forget even those who sometimes forget you. We place them in your hands, full of, full of trust. We place all our concerns, present and future, through Christ our Lord. have the offertory procession. Presenting of the gifts.
May our prayers and offerings be raised to you, O Lord, as the clouds of incense. to thee I call, come to my aid, hear my voice when I call unto thee. May my prayer rise to you like incense, and my hands be raised as an evening oblation. Colonel Bertoni offers in succession the bread and wine, which are the elements of the Mass, which will be consecrated and changed into the body and blood of Christ. senses the bread and the wine they become the holy things were in the sight of God
burning incense, the celebrant, the clergy, you know, incenses the people, God's holy people. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord, your Son, who is God with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dominus Amen. Each day we feel the effects of your goodness. And he says, from this moment, the promise of the future life, having received the, the Holy Spirit through whom you have raised Jesus Christ from the dead, we live in hope of the eternal Easter. Thus, with the angels and saints, we sing your glory in one voice. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Come, Lord Jesus. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope. Bishop Antonio and all the clergy. Remember also, Lord, the newly baptized who through baptism have today been joined Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Now we'll follow the praying of the Our Father.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Pax Domini, sit semper vobiscum. Peace of the Lord be with you and with you, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. The celebrant exchanges a sign of peace and reconciliation with his brother priests, as do the people uh, among themselves as we prepare for Holy Communion to show that we have reconciliation and we are, as St. Paul encouraged us, to leave our, our sins behind us and to go, go forward to receive the body and blood of the Lord with a pure heart. God, the words of John the Baptist to the first apostles of Christ. There is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Follow him. Happy are those invited to the Supper of the Lamb. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our refrain is, Lord, increase our faith. prepare to take Holy Communion to the people, perhaps we could just say that those 
celebrating with uh, His Eminence Cardinal Tarsisio Bertoni were um, to his left the Apostolic Nuncio um, uh, Di Rino Passigato, Don Rino Passigato. And to his right was the Archbishop Emeritus of Lisbon, Cardinal José da Cruz Policarpo, and then the uh, Bishop of Lady Fatima, Bishop Antonio Marto, Antonio wow. Augusto dos Santos Marto. Fatima. <coughs> At the center of the message of Fatima, we have Inflicou conversion, which implies love of God above all and horror to sin. Somos convidados we are invited a viver na fidelidade to a live in faithfulness to God. Aqui na mensagem de Fátima, Here in the message of Fátima, mês de outubro, in this uh, month of October, the Nossa recommendation Senhora that Our Lady made to us, não ofendo mais a Deus Nosso Senhor, do not offend que já está muito our Lord ofendido. anymore, that He is already too much offended. Tendo cuidado, irmãos, que nenhum Let de us be careful, um my brothers and sisters, e that none of you have a heart do Deus vivo. that is not Esta good or a Deus does not have faith that would distance you from God. Vida. That recommendation o da nossa should be the principle of our life, the principle of our intellect, o princípio da nossa vontade. Deve ser a conversão of how we a Deus. see things, the principle of our will should be God doing the will of God and faithfulness to God humana, so that the, all of humanity be restored by God, our Savior. Jesus Only Jesus Christ é o Senhor, is the Lord, da nossa vida. is the center of our life. Só Jesus Cristo Only Jesus Christ counters mundo, the horrors of this world, as violências, o ódio, the violence, the hatred, a falta de caridade, the lack of charity. Só Jesus Cristo pode preencher Only Jesus tudo Christ isso na nossa vida. can fill our lives. Apenas nos pede. He only asks Apenas us, nos diz, he only tells us to convert. Que nesta homilia que o Sr. Cardeal Tarcísio Bertoni nos foi falando who told us, or who said to us, meditando, levando-nos a meditar e pensar bring us to meditate, meditate and think que that não podemos brincar não podemos ficar acomodados não podemos ficar nos nossos egoísmos that we cannot remain in our selfishness in our, within ourselves, shut within Nossa ourselves, Senhora. but we must come out of ourselves and follow Our Lady who guides the hearts of people filho, to Jesus her Son, Jesus Christ. Colin, earlier we saw the priest processing down uh, the center of the square um, covered by these, with these umbrellas. Some 
you know, mm. with an attendant carrying a white umbrella, would, what would be the significance of that besides perhaps it's raining, which hopefully it's not, doesn't seem like it? Well, an umbrella serves many purposes, one of which, of course, is to protect from the rain and the sun, as in Portugal you very often see uh, people in Fatima with their umbrellas out on a hot day. Mm -hmm. um, the word itself is drawn from the Latin umbra for shadow. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also used to honor, uh, and you see in St. Peter's Square, the great Baldacino over the papal altar is essentially an umbra, a shadow, an umbrella over mm -hmm. the papal altar. And so it's a way of indicating the dignity of the Eucharist. Uh, I suppose it also serves a very practical purpose in that it tells the crowd where a uh, minister of Holy Communion is as mm -hmm. well. So it would do that as well. Uh, but very often and typically in Eucharistic processions, for example, on mm -hmm. Corpus Christi, uh, you will see a canopy over the, uh, over the priest carrying the Blessed Sacrament. Uh, and so uh, the first use is to honor the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then it serves, of course, a practical use for rain and sun and to indicate uh, where the sacrament is. When this Mass is over, Cardinal Bertoni will make a consecration, uh, presumably the same one that the Pope used uh, earlier in the day in Rome. Um, and so, as far as we know, because that text doesn't seem to be available, uh, it is the same consecration originally composed by Pope John Paul II in 1981. Uh, when he was in the hospital recovering from the assassination attempt in his life and used by him a year later in uh, May 13th, 1982 when he went to Fatima to give thanks for uh, Our Lady saving his life, a uh, Mass I had the privilege of being at. Mm. And then later in 1984 at the consecration in St. Peter's Square in union with the bishops of the world and the Orthodox bishops. So. Mm -hmm. As far as we know, that's the one. Essa é a experiência de tantos homens e mulheres que ao longo dos séculos encontraram no Senhor a possibilidade de mudar a sua vida. Quando Jesus entra em nossa vida, Ele entra em nossa vida para mudar nos. Essa é também a nossa experiência. Essa é a experiência de tantos homens e mulheres que ao longo dos séculos encontraram no Senhor a possibilidade de mudar a sua vida. Our experience of men and women saved by Christ, He has come to give us life and life in abundance. As we will sing now the hymn, I have come so that you may have life. Cardinal Tarsicio Bertoni is very close to Fatima. Of course, he would visit uh, Sister Lucia, visited her a few times, and it was uh, very beautiful that he reminded us of that episode in the story of the three children of Fatima when they were imprisoned by the governor of Oring and were um, threatened by him to, you know, that they would be killed. They were at that point separated and told that they would be thrown into boiling oil. <laughs> and uh, what a beautiful point he brought out, saying that um, later Francisco was asked, what did you do? You know, because he, the governor had them separated. They had no idea what was going on with each other at that moment. And, uh, and Francisco said, well, I was praying that uh, Jacinta, which of course was his little sister, that Jacinta would not fear. Mm -hmm. That she would trust, that she would persevere. Isn't that beautiful? He was not thinking of himself and um, thinking of his little sister and, and not only that, but what was essential, right. which is faith, right. trust. And we have to remember that he had already received well over a year of pedagogy because the children 
had first had an encounter with an angel, which most believe, uh, it, well, is the, was the angel of Portugal, the guardian angel of Portugal. Uh, some believe perhaps even St. Gabriel. Uh, but be that as it may, the angel prepared them a year in advance, back in 1917, by mm -hmm. teaching them to sacrifice for sinners. Mm -hmm. And so it was that, uh, I think that habit of sacrificing and praying mm -hmm. for others that brings you out of yourself. Uh, and so this is, if this is possible for a six-year-old child, it should be possible for each of us as well, mm -hmm. if we simply follow that methodology of prayer for others, of self-forgetfulness uh, in daily life, uh, the little things. And we often do little things, perhaps for a little bit of the honor that comes from doing them, whereas the children did things sort of secretly so as not to be honored, so that it would be entirely a gift for the Lord. And that's, that's also a good spiritual habit uh, to do as well. that is the gospel do not stand on the street corners mm -hmm. and announce your fast so they were simply being led in the path of the gospel mm -hmm. and what you said also makes us reflect you know perhaps are we not you know were these children precocious in the that they had that level of faith or really you know do we all have Todo that capability as children, because, you know, a soul is not a child or an adult. A soul is a soul that needs to be molded. I, I think they were human beings, as are we. Mm -hmm. And so we are all capable of that. Mm -hmm. Maybe when we're older, we're a little bit, have to be unformed a little mm -hmm. bit mm -hmm. more, but still. So really, the earlier you start, the better. The better, yes. <laughs> We should be aware of that, you know, not underestimate a child's capacity to absorb great truths. Right. You know, when you think of the context of uh, communism, which was one of the ba reasons that Our Lady came to Fatima to say that Russia would spread her heirs around the world. What is her heir? Atheistic communism. Uh, and Stalin said, give me a child until he's seven and he'll be mine for, you know, he will be a communist for all of his life. And so all of these systems try to take over the raising in, uh, of children mm -hmm. and separating them from their parents so that they can be raised according to the ideology of the state yes. rather than the faith of the parents and of the religion. Mm -hmm. And I find it always so sad when I hear you know, or read about parents saying, well, you know, I, won't, I don't want to indoctrinate my child in mm -hmm. religion. Let them grow up and mm -hmm. learn about varieties of religions and choose. Um, this is absurd. They're indoctrinating them in nothing, and they will believe nothing. Right. So teach your children to love God and love neighbor, and they will grow up to be happy and healthy unless they choose to do Because ultimately, otherwise. religion is all about salvation, you know, and we want the, that soul saved. And that, therefore, that's why we have infant baptism, because already as an infant, that soul receives the grace of the faith. And you wish to bring them into the family of God mm -hmm. rather than leaving them outside at the door until, mm -hmm. until they're older. But I think that's certainly one of the messages of Our Lady, that the children could learn, could be given, te taught these lessons and ought to be from mm -hmm. a very young age mm -hmm. and that parents need to do that as well and society needs to do that and not abandon youth to the, to the to winds. The town, to, to, the, to the town, in other words. Or the <laughs> village, the as the case to, may yes. be, yes. Yes. And it's interesting that Our Lady chose to appear to children on many occasions, not only in Fatima, of course, in Lourdes, in Bano, in Pontmain. And the priest says, at the moment our Lord enters into our life through communion, we become, we should become him whom we receive. 
como the Lord como operates in our lives. Também nós nos queremos aproximar de Jesus para dar glória As a Deus. In those in the gospel, we too want to come close to the Lord, to give glory to God, to thank Him for His presence, to thank Him for His friendship and His love, to thank Him for the healing of so many wounds that we carry within us. We believe, Lord, we believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, and thus we sing, Lord, I believe you are the Christ. We were talking in our coverage last night about the Christocentric nature, even of the plan of the basilica there with the pillar with the sacred heart on it to show at the center of this message is Christ and the gospel. As John Paul II noted, it's the gospel for the 20th century and now the 21st century. But it's certainly a, a strong element. We were talking about the appearance of the angel a year before Our Lady appeared. And in those appearances, there were a few, several of them, uh, the Eucharist was central and the angel brought the chalice and suspended it in the air and taught the children to adore down and to, uh, to honor Christ present in the Holy Eucharist. And what I always found interesting is that when he gave them communion, he gave the precious blood to Francisco even though he had not yet received First Communion as a Latin Rite Catholic. And that is an Eastern practice, when the child, the infant, is fully initi uh, initiated, baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. I believe this is true, the pr drop of the precious blood is placed in its mouth. And it, in a way, it's a, the union of East and West here at Fatima as well, uh, with Russia and the Russian Orthodox and the Eastern churches uh, certainly involved there, uh, but also in, uh, indirectly Islam, uh, the place name, the culture of Portugal in, the, in those days, the influence of Islam. So um, it is really an apparition to the world, East and West, Christian, Jewish, Islamic, uh, calling all to, to uh, unity in Christ and uh, and thus unity in God, Christ being God's instrument uh, to bring uh, the humanity to to himself. Mm -hmm. Possa meditar 
que muitas vezes vivemos uma solidão. Mesmo mas vivemos um interior sozinho, triste, mas Deus vem nos alegrar, vem trazer essa alegria ao nosso coração. Que sejamos homens e mulheres de confiança, firmes na confiança, e que o nosso coração jamais estará sozinho. Que possamos imitar a Virgem Maria. Sois bem-aventurada porque acreditastes no cumprimento de tudo o quanto vos foi dito da parte do Senhor. Confiar. We were saying that, um, na confiança. You know, the, uh, you're mentioning that the whole world is, is in, uh, really involved in Fatima, uh, the Orthodox, and, the, and uh, perhaps a, a reference to the Orthodox by communion being given in both species. Of course, Our Lady asking for the uh, consecration of Russia, specifically to her Immaculate Heart. Um, and then the Muslim aspect, you mentioned Fatima being, of course, the name of a, a Muslim princess who lived in an area. That area, of course, uh, all of the Iberian Peninsula was at one point, except for the very north, was at one point uh, overrun by, you know, mm -hmm. taken by the Muslims for 700 years almost uh, until uh, there, there was a very slow and progressive reconquering of the land by the Christians. In fact, Portugal came out of the country of Portugal, came out of that uh, uh, crusade, let's say. Uh, uh, the Duke of Burgundy, if I remember well, uh, came to Spain to help with that reconquest. And he was given that track of land, which is now Portugal. Um, it's the, I think it was the Count of Burgundy. And uh, that was the beginning of the history of Portugal as a separate country from Spain. And of course, uh, perhaps Colin, you can tell us about the story, but Fatima, uh, a, a Christian prince married Fatima, is that correct? And then it she was right, to, mm -hmm. the, right, the name of the, uh, the daughter of a, a, a Muslim man, and mm -hmm. uh, he took her as his wife. Her name was Fatima, and so this region was named after her. And uh, interesting as well, in the centuries before the um, before the apparition at Fatima, Portugal had been instrumental in uh, bringing devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Our Lady, to the Immaculate Conception, indeed, mm -hmm. uh, th throughout uh, throughout the Church. Uh, uh, it had uh, pre-existed, but the, the kings of Portugal consecrated their nation to Our Lady, even hundreds of years before Fatima, and this As was the a very Immaculate Conception uh, un under that title. So mm -hmm. there was already this long tradition in Portugal and it's no surprise mm -hmm. uh, as we moved into the 20th century that our Our Lady and our Lord obviously chose this particular place mm -hmm. uh, not only to speak about Russia and what was to happen there but also I think Islam mm -hmm. I think most scholars agree there's an implied message there as well and it's perhaps one of the reasons the triumph of the Immaculate Heart has not is not over mm -hmm. because To that degree, Our Lady has unfinished work, which she must yet accomplish, uh, to bring peace between East and West, mm -hmm. uh, first with the Communist East and then with the Islamic East. And we for, will see for, how, for she, Islamic how children. she does that. We'll see how Little she does do they know, that. But you know that uh, I think it was uh, maybe about two years ago, Lebanon, which now, of course, is a main, mainly Muslim government, but they declared December 8th the Feast of the Immaculate Conception as a civil holiday, the nation of Lebanon, which is admirable. I think it's it's about one-third Christian and maybe one-third, yes. half to two-thirds uh, Islamic. Mm -hmm. Maria canta as maravilhas de Deus. Yeah, they do believe in the Immaculate Conception, mas the Muslims do. Com a sua vida e as suas atitudes com a sua confiança total ao projeto do Pai. Com Maria, louvemos o Senhor com as palavras e com a vida. With Mary, e cantemos let us praise Magnificat. God with our life and with our words, singing the Magnificat. 
Our Lady's words when she uh, came to visit her cousin Elizabeth, and they both bro broke out, well, she broke out in this song. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. Behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty has done great things to me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from generation unto generation to them that fear him. He has shown might in his arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their throne and has exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has received Israel his service, his servant, be mindful of his mercy. According as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. As I noted earlier, we don't know whether this is the exact form that will be used today, but I think it's worthwhile uh, reading an excerpt from John Paul II's uh, Prayer of Consecration, uh, whether it's what Cardinal Bertoni will use today or not, because I think it, it gives us the context uh, of why this is necessary. In the third section, the Pope wrote, in entrusting to you, O Mother, the world, all individuals and peoples, we also entrust to you the consecration itself for the world's sake, placing it in your motherly heart. O Immaculate Heart, help us to conquer the menace of evil, which so easily takes root in the hearts of the people of today, and whose immeasurable effects already weigh down upon our modern world and seem to block the past toward the future. <coughs> From famine and war deliver us, from nuclear war, from incalculable self-destruction, from every kind of war deliver us, from sins against the life of man from its very beginning deliver us, from hatred and from the demeaning of the dignity of the children of God deliver us, from every kind of injustice in the life of society both national and international deliver us, from readiness to trample on the commandments of God deliver us, from attempts to stifle in human hearts the very truth of God, deliver us. From sins against the Holy Spirit, deliver us. Deliver us. Accept, O Mother of Christ, this cry laden with the sufferings of all individual human beings, laden with the sufferings of whole societies. Let there be revealed once more in the history of the world your infinite power of merciful love. May it put a stop to evil. May it transform consciences. May your Immaculate Heart reveal for all the light of hope. And I think we see expressed in that the recognition of the interventions of God in history at Lepanto, mm -hmm. at the gates of Vienna, um, and maybe here now at the gates of the 21st century as we pass through the vestibule uh, 13 years in. Um, we need some of that now, and so I think needed. we can... Mm -hmm ask Our Lady to provide it against all of the uh, the threats of useless wars that will only cause greater evils than, than they will solve, uh, the threats against human life from conception to natural death, um, the insanity of believing the church will ever change her teachings mm -hmm. um, or allow the, uh, the blasphemies and sacrileges that that would entail so much to be delivered from the attacks on religious liberty uh, that are going on in our own country and of course throughout the world um, the number of martyrs who died in hatred of the faith last year according to uh, one accounting of that I think that was published by some agency of the Vatican recently um, were continuing at the pace which John Paul II saying of the 20th century, more martyrs in the 20th century than all the centuries of the church combined. 
and this continues every year in the hundreds of thousands in certain countries where persecution is not simply political but physical and violent. Uh, we've seen it somewhat in Egypt and Syria and uh, elsewhere. Iraq. Iraq. Uh, obviously, in some India, places Pakistan. where it's been long standing. In, mm -hmm. Right. Of course, in Africa, Sudan. So we're definitely in need of Our Lady's uh, help and intervention. The Blessed Sacrament has now been enthroned in the monstrance and exposed for the adoration of the people as we prepare for the end of the Mass and the traditional blessing of the sick that will follow as well as uh, the consecration to Our Lady. Let us pray. God of infinite goodness, who has given us food as food, the body and blood of your Son, grant us also par participants of his divine nature, in the unity of the, the he who is God with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Lord Jesus is among us, present in the Blessed Sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, solemnly exposed at the altar. He is our strength, our food, our hope, our trust, our life, and joy. He whom we have received in communion wants to bless all of us, but in a special way, he wants to be the strength and joy and hope of our uh, brethren who are ill. Just as the lepers of the gospel, we ask, Lord, have mercy on us. Let us recollect ourselves in adoration and praise and sing the prayer taught to the children, one of the prayers taught by the uh, angel. Oh, my Lord. I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you, and ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. message of the gospel to repent ourselves and to pray and suffer for the repentance of others not to say go and continue sinning but go and sin no more as our Lord did and to sin no more ourselves Irmão doente, 
Oh, brother who is ill, Jesus, our great friend, is truly present in the Holy Eucharist. His word is alive and efficacious. It does hear your appeals. He said, believe in me, hope in my word, uh, remain in my love, and do not fear. One day, Jesus went to the pool of Bethsata in Jerusalem. He was there, and there was a multitude of sick people, ill people. God, Jesus looked at all of them with the tenderness of the Father, and his eyes were laid on a paralytic man who had been there for 38 years, at, awaiting somebody who would bring him into the pool. He, of all people there, he was the poorest and the most ignored. He was immersed in terrible loneliness. In his heart, there was not even a sliver of hope. Jesus asked him, do you want to be healed? He answered, I have no one I have no one to take me to the pool. Jesus said, stand and walk. Immediately, the man rose and started to walk. To you, Jesus directs to you the same appeal. Rise and walk. Do not live anymore in this paralysis of death. Does as the, the Vietnamese, Vietnamese bishop, Francis Xavier Van Thuam. He was years and years in prison, during which he was in total isolation, living in a little cell, a humid cell, without any window where no one else would enter except his guards. In the beginning, he, f he was sad and felt abandoned. And as all prisoners, he hoped each minute for his, at each minute that his liberation would come. But one day he said to himself, that he no longer was going to spend time thinking of his liberation, of his freedom. He took this he made this decision. I am going to live the present moment, filling it with love. He loved everyone, and, and no one was excluded from his heart, from that love of his, and he liked to say, Everything passes. Only God does not change. Those, of course, are words of St. Teresa of Avila. I am in the hands of Our Lady. Oh, you who are sick, do not let the poison of hatred enter your heart whom, against whomever it might be, nor that your heart be filled with bitterness, be it f for your children or other family members or ungrateful friends. Do as the Vietnamese bishop did and you will live. Perhaps you may tell me, this is too much for me. True, it is too much for you, for me as well, for everyone. But with Jesus, our friend, our incomparable friend, everything is possible. In the apparition of Our Lady in June 1917, Lucia asked Our Lady to take the three very quickly to heaven. 
Our Lady responded that Lucia would stay here for a little bit longer. Jesus had a mission for her. Lucia was saddened and afraid and asked the Blessed Virgin, Will I remain here all alone? No, my daughter, she said. She responded, I will never leave you. My Immaculate Heart will be your refuge and the way that will bring you to God. In 1945, Sister Lucia wrote, I believe that this promise was not just for me, but for all souls that wish to take refuge in the heart of the Heavenly Mother and let themselves be taken by the ways that are traced by Our Lady. You who are ill, you too place yourselves in the hands of Mary. Take refuge in her Immaculate Heart. Allow her to lead you in your way, lead your steps. Do what can be done, what is within your reach, so that with others you may trust also in Our Lady and place themselves in her hands. And do not fear, the heart of Our Lady will take you to Jesus, and with Jesus to the Father, to heaven. And your life will be a blessing. Amen. Amen. Sings, Blessed be the most holy sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Let us repeat together, Lord, we believe in you. Lord, we hope in you. Lord, we love you. O Jesus, you are the Son of the living God. You are the bread come from heaven. Oh Jesus, o vosso corpo é verdadeira comida. Oh Jesus, your body is true food. Oh Jesus, o vosso sangue é verdadeira bebida. Oh Jesus, your blood is true drink. Vós sois o meu Deus e o meu Senhor. You are my God and my Lord. 
Senhor, nós cremos em vós, mas aumentai a nossa fé. Lord, we believe in you, but increase our faith. about the umbrellas earlier and there you see the same symbolism of respect I believe that's called an umbrellino is it uh, yes. the proper liturgical name Let us present to our Lord our prayers with faith and hope singing. Heavenly Lamb, have mercy on us. So that this moment of Eucharistic adoration help us renew our spiritual life, confirm us in faith, and transform us into witnesses of the gospel. Let us pray. For the Church, that it may always preserve within it the charity, unity, and holiness, and may be a sensible sign for the world of the Eucharist. For Pope Francis, bishops and priests, that amidst the Christians they may be the expression of your love, of your forgiveness, and your tenderness. Let us pray. for our families, that they may live in unity and serenity, and find in the Eucharist the strength needed to face the difficulties of life, let us pray. the Eucharistic hymn, Tanto Mergo. Great hymn composed by St. Thomas Aquinas as a poem, um, which since the institution of the Feast of Corpus Christi has always been in, um, 
used in relationship to adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. Spinovis tu sacramento mirabili, passionis tu e memoriam reliquisti. Lord Jesus Christ, with, who gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death, may our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Cardinal Tony will now give the Eucharistic blessing to the congregation, a blessing which the Church understands as being given by Christ himself and not by the celebrant. Let us say in one voice, Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Praise, praise the Lord, the choir sings. And I should correct myself previously, the refrain the choir was singing was Christ, heavenly bread, have mercy on us. I hadn't quite understood them. The Bishop of Lady Fatima will now bless religious objects and then he will direct a final word to all of us or address a final word to all of us. Let us pray our Lord and God through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, of the Blessed Shepherds Francisco and Jacinta, 
deign to bless the religious objects that we have, that they may be a sign of salvation for all those who will use them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear pilgrims, com esta peregrinação de outubro, With this October pilgrimage, we close the series of, uh, of anniversary pilgrimages for this year. And we celebrate this pilgrimage of today with that particular characteristic. As you know, the original image of Our Lady of Fatima, which usually is in the Capelinha of the Apparitions, went on pilgrimage to the Vatican and to Rome to be present at the request of the Holy Father Mariana, that she be present for the Marian day of e the year of faith. Vejo, verifico, and I see that da da this não taking away of uh, the image of Our Lady did not affect the pilgrims. It's very consoling to see this invasion of pilgrims that completely fills this square. Our greetings, congratulations to all. The after, I'd like you, and I'd like you to be conscious that the presence of the image of Our Lady with our Holy Father at the Vatican emphasizes the relationship of Our Lady of Fatima of the Shrine with the whole church, the worldwide projection of our shrine. Our shrine was um, made distinguished by this choice of the Vatican, and also it's a sign of our profound communion with the Holy Father, particularly with that act of the consecration of the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which he realized this morning, and which we've done here in Fatima. I have just found the text of the consecration of the Holy Father done this morning. I will just read you a few phrases so you can see how beautiful, see how it starts. Our Lady of Fatima, receive with benevolence from me this act of entrustment that we make with trust before your image, which is so beloved by us. We are sure that each one of us is precious in your eyes and nothing that, that is in our heart will, uh, will um, wound you. There was a lady here in the square who said, yes, she has left here, but she goes for a good cause, a good cause for the church and for the whole world. Thus, we are all very happy and joyful, and we feel honored, and also for another reason, because we have with us we have with us the Cardinal uh, Secretary of State, Cardinal Tarcisio Bertone, his presence here and his uh, celebration here and presiding over this pilgrimage emphasizes in a very visible way our profound communion with the Holy Father. Your Eminence, in my name of all these pilgrims, in my name and the name of all these pilgrims, I would like to thank you from all my heart, your presence and your presiding over this pilgrimage, and especially with your very enthusiastic message that you communicated to us inviting us to rediscover enthusiasm and joy in our faith. Thank you so much. May God bless you. I 
onde dirigiram a palavra aos mais pequenos, como vós sabeis. I could not Queridos amiguitos e amiguitas. Not re refer some words, direct some words to my little friends. Uma saudação carinhosa. To you, my little friends, I send you my greetings full of affection and a blessed, a blessed, uh, and a blessing. Obviously, he's receiving, uh, referring to the children. Blessing also to the sick who are present here. So now to conclude, a very quick salutation, quick greeting in all the languages. First, he talks about Italian. The Madonna Fatima is always close to you. May she bless you and accom accompany you with her motherly help. Good Sunday to all. Now, as a greeting to our pilgrims and friends of the Spanish language, that Our Lady of Fatima bless you all and accompany you all. Happy Sunday. And that's in German. We greet you, of pilgrims of German language. May the Mother of God, of Our Lady of Fatima, and there I don't know, that bless you in all your ways, in faith, and a, a beautiful Sunday. I salute very much warmly all the pilgrims of French language. May Our Lady of Fatima bless you and accompany you always. Good Sunday to all. I cordially greet all the English speaking now you translate Colin present at today's celebration. May Our Lady of Fatima bless you all, your families and your countries. Serdecznie pozdrawiam Polaków. Niech Bóg Polish language. Serdeczno pozdrawiam swe chorwackie chodoczarnike. Chwalien Jezus i Maria. Por fin. Finally, I salute all the pilgrims of Portuguese language, particularly the groups from Brazil and Angola, which of course is also a Portuguese-speaking African country, that Our Lady of Fatima may bless you and accompany you with her maternal help and happy return to your homes. And as usual, we finish with a brief moment of silence in e within for us to make our own consecrations to Our Lady. It would seem that the only consecrations would be the personal ones rather than the corporate yes. ones such mm -hmm. as the Holy Father did and I guess that would be fitting. He's accomplished that today. Sure. And the Bisp Bishop of Lady I read a short passage from that text which was very beautiful. There is a saint loved by many, St. Therese of Lisieux. When you see the thing, you see a lot of it, Fatima, are the different banners. Mm. Uh, different guilds, rosary societies, parishes, dioceses, uh, and honoring saints as we just saw. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. 
You have watched the coverage of EWTN of the Mass in Fatima on October 13th. And we have uh, here the procession out. We will not be covering today, but Our Lady will be reposed in the Sanctuary of Capolina on this beautiful Marian weekend that we have celebrated in the church throughout the world. God bless you. This is EWTN.